You know, I often think about becoming a monk. Don't you? Doesn't it sound really great? Especially with the world going crazy like it is these days. Just going and meditating and finding inner peace and connecting with the cosmos and all the gods and the aliens. Okay, well, that's what I think about when I think about becoming a monk. It might be different for you, but doesn't it sound like a really great path to take? And if you're thinking, wow, Lori, it really does, but you're a chick and monks are boys. Well, guess what, buddy? You're wrong. There are monks like me, Buddhist monks in Thailand. They're called the Kunis. They're in the Theravada branch of Buddhism, which I need to learn about. I've got a lot of studying up to do, to be honest. Right now, there are fewer than 300 bhikkhunis in Thailand, according to the Venerable Dhammananda, the most senior monk at that monastery. I know, I gotta learn pronunciations too. Anyway, under the 1928 Sangha Act, only boys can become monks in Thailand. And because of that, the bhikkhunis don't get the perks that the country's 300,000 boy monks do, like free train rides and state funding. And the bhikkhunis get taxed, unlike the boy monks, but still, they carry on doing all sorts of monk-like things. Which is more than I can say for the boy monks, who've been accused of doing some very unmonk-like things. You see, boy monks have been accused of being corrupt, embezzling funds, doing all this corrupt stuff, even being accused of sexual misconduct. I mean, if you take a minute to think about the boy monks and how they live, leading a brutally rigid and... Let's be honest, a little mundane, a little repetitive kind of life. If you think about what their lives are really like, you can maybe see it's not too far of a leap to all those accusations being tossed around, whether they're real or not. Which is not to say that the Bagoonies would not stumble in the face of such temptations. If they were to grow as strong and powerful as the boy monks, that's what power does, right? It corrupts. But alas, so far, the Bagoonies have stuck to doing the more monk-like things, like going to women's prisons to spread the word of Buddha and give blessings, and also give them tampons. Because funnily enough, people donate tampons to the bhikkhunis who don't really need them so much since most of them are older and no longer have their special monthly friend. Anyway, if you want to support the bhikkhunis, please stop sending them tampons. Just spread the word or click on some of the links below. And as always, keep your mind open. And maybe, not too far from now, they will get the recognition they seek, for better or worse, whatever you believe. And maybe when that time comes, I'll be ready to join them. In the meantime, I still got some more studying to do.